hello everyone welcome back and thank you so much for stopping by so my people before we continue today's video i just want to use this opportunity to thank all my members those people that just joined my membership thank you so so much for supporting me here for supporting my channel so that i will keep you know bringing updates to you guys i truly appreciate you all and also if you are interested to join my membership please you will see where they wrote join go ahead and select any category that you know you know you can be able to pay yes and also i want to thank all my subscribers those people that keep commenting as well sharing my video i truly appreciate you all so my people in today's video is about bobriski matter yes so so yesterday the prison officers were suspended like almost five of them but today one of the prison officers had an interview on a rice television where he stated the reason why they gave Bob Risky an apartment instead of male or female prison. <laughs> My people, the truth is gradually coming out. And also, I'm going to show you another video where Bob Risky had an interview immediately that he came out from the prison where he said that he was in a main session in a correction center. My people, the two story is just contradicting themselves honestly we don't even know which one is true but let me allow you guys to watch the videos i'm going to be right back of the nigerian prisons was changed to change it to nigerian correctional service the whole purpose was to place emphasis on the correctional value of uh, imprisonment and rehabilitation rather than punishment and now we have a situation where a gentleman known as uh, Bobriski was sentenced to six months imprisonment in April. And in the wisdom of the leaders of uh, Nigerian uh, Correctional Service, they decided that, well, this is a correctional place. And they decided to arrange to put him in, a, in an apartment outside the prison so that uh, he could make phone calls, he could contact his godfathers. Isn't this in line with the idea of you know, rehabilitation, correction, rather than putting uh, a socialite like uh, Idris Okunaya inside the Krikri uh, medium prison. I'll start with you, Bishop Williams, and then let uh, uh, Mr. Nobore also help us uh, to unpack this uh, imagined conundrum. Well, I want to first of all appreciate what you people are doing, enlightening humanity. Let me go straight to the issue of prison. And I will start from the area of um, giving a private uh, accommodation to uh, uh, Mr. Idris. First of all, let me uh, explain the categorization of the prison setup, with the, because the prison, which we call now correctional service, has buildings that accommodate convicted criminals and awaiting trials, including condemned criminals. When the enter the prison for the first time, they have to put them on proper recording. Who is this image? Where is it to be kept? This man we are discussing today is neither here nor there as a man or a woman to be recognized. Are we going to say he is a man? Or is a woman. Now, thank God he openly confessed to the to the judge that tried her at the magistrate court. How or him? How or him? You see, the, the, the confession is is on. I, I, that is where I don't want us to over celebrate the issue. He is. If, if I explain the the setting up of the accommodation, accommodation is for. Con condemned prisoners, CC, those who have been sentenced to death, they are apart. They should not mingle with other inmates. 
The second accommodation is convicted inmates who are the owner of the prison because a waiting trial has not been tried. The accommodation that is provided for all male, are they going to bring Idris with a transgender body look to go and sleep in the general cell with general prisoners? That is where it comes in. That the first thing the record will do is to now say, okay, how do we treat this type of woman? She's not a woman, neither a man. Neither fish nor frog. <laughs> so, no, that... Eh? Well, she identified as a man. She's a man. She identified as a man. Yeah, that, that, that is... So that's man. a man. That, that, <laughs> that's a man. The Nigerian law, 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 law does not... Uh, it's not a man. Not understand the... Uh, it's a transgender. Transsexuality. No, but he... he no, but identified as a man. Hey, but uh, what of our body fiction? But the correctional center is a legal entity in Nigeria. Exactly. Ah. So they now look for a way not to disturb because she can cause heavy right. No, 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 no. He, he. He, he. <laughs> you see now. He, he identified as, as a man. man. So we'll have to we'll take so one. Let's I am telling take, you let's... how the, I was in the prison. I spent 10 years in the prison. Okay. I am not telling you stories. All those stories you are hearing. Majority of those who are contributing don't know anything that is going on in the prison. Yeah, but your time was in the seventies. Where that seventies? The time is different I now. I was in the prison day before yesterday. I was at Kirikiri Maximum, not for for he, uh, his problem, but for re re the correctional message you mentioned now, which they are introducing. Now they now say, okay, how do we do it? They now say, okay, let us give him. A special place. It is like that in the prison. They call it for protective custody because they will tear him to pieces because of our body, of his body look. He looks like a woman. He, he he moves like a woman. So for her to go to any cell, there are chronic homosexual images that are very hungry to go to any length, to tear anybody, even the ones that are not uh, 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 transgender. They, they try to rape what, them. What would they tear? <laughs> that is why I'm saying the, 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 the purpose of giving her that how? That okay, okay, okay. Bishop. <laughs> Bishop. Okay. I, I don't know how to call her Bishop. Yeah, let's go to uh, Mr. Enobore, former National PRO Nigerian uh, prisons before he became correctional service. Mr. Enobore, and now the uh, services board, you know, has suspended about four senior persons, five actually, in the Nigerian correctional service. Just tell us, as a former PRO, is it that the uh, Nigerian correctional service, do you people run, uh, what do they call it, Airbnb? Airbnb yeah. uh, do you people run Airbnb? for inmates, because I, I, I recall that once upon a time in this country, one man was uh, imprisoned in this same uh, curriculum, and uh, uh, within nine months, his wife was uh, pregnant, and there was naming ceremony and speculations that he was even allowed to go and uh, attend the naming ceremony as a bona fide father of the child. So are you people now running Airbnb as part of an extension of the prison? Well, uh, thank you very much, Doctor, and uh, uh, thanks for having me. I want to also appreciate the Reverend gentleman for his uh, input. Uh, to answer your question straight, uh, there is nothing like uh, apartment, separate apartment, private apartment, or anything special in the prison. Um, the Honorable Minister, what he has done, has just demonstrated that he is someone that is uh, courageous, is methodical in his approach, and he is a system person. And to that extent, I want to commend his effort because this is how systems are built all over the world by galvanizing the support and participation of the public in running a credible system. Having said that, uh, let us not forget that the allegation or whatever is. Uh, uh, being pushed out to the public is still in the realm of speculation, of allegation. 
I don't want us to preempt what the uh, panel will come up with. To drive the seriousness of the Honorable Minister, he appointed a permanent secretary in the ministry to chair that investigation panel. And I want to believe that if there is any merit in it, of course he will take appropriate action according to the law. Now, to stress the classification procedure that the Reverend Gentleman talked about, we have that as our operational procedure. As an inmate is coming into the facility, the first thing you do is to provide that individual for the safety of the person coming in and the, uh, the, the general prison environment. You want to know his background, his or her background, how you can facilitate smooth and humane custody, and if he's a convict, how do you extend rehabilitation and reformation program to cover the period the person is going to spend behind bars so that by the time he's coming out of the custodial center, he's a better off human being. To come to the case of Mr. Okuneye Idris, yes, I don't want, I, I'm a little careful not to be preemptive of what the investigation panel will come up with. Um, like the Reverend gentleman said, you came in bodily showing you are a woman. Yes, you confessed in the court that you are a man. Everybody knows that you keep people, men, behind bars for years. Uh, some of them are unrepentant homosexuals. Some of them even do that are not homosexuals. They, they, they just want to relieve themselves by any means and you are coming, uh, coming into their midst in that uh, body formation. There is no doubt that if care is not taken, uh, what, you know, you have a very serious security situation in your, uh, on your right. hands. So right. I don't want to uh, proceed uh, more on that because right. it's still being investigated. Spraying of money, it's my money. I'm not winning anybody money. I did not steal money. I did not kidnap her. I did not. I did not kill anybody. Sir, I spent my own hard hand money. Ooh. And I was sent this to where we have a lot of criminals, such as murderers, kidnappers, rapists, murderers. It's, it's a whole lot. But you see, like I said, I've always say this, and I'll continue saying it. Um, like, like I'm a very strong person, so I'm ready for anything that comes my way. If I had chosen this lifestyle to be where I want to be, then I should be ready first. And the way that has happened is sending me to the prison because obviously I don't do anything, I don't kill anybody. Question Did you spend your time in KK in the male or female prison? Hmm, that's deep. That's deep. Ooh, that's deep. Or why, why is it deep? <laughs> that's deep. Okay. Um, I spent it. Oh sh. I spent it at the male correctional center. Uh, the no, no, I think. I just told you I spent it at the male correctional, and I love it. And I'll give. If they have given me to stay in the in the female correctional center, hmm? I won't have fun. I won't enjoy myself. While I was at the male correctional center, I was the only different people there, like different person there, different person. Mm. So people were they're nice to me. They're showing me care. They're giving me stuffs. Mm. They were being so nice. So if I had stayed in the female, you probably would have gotten like who would have who would have showed me care? Who would have you no know, buy me food? Ask if I've eaten. What if take care this of me? Assumption was not is not true. What is the true reason why you were not? You didn't spend. Um, they didn't let you spend your time in the female prison. Is because they are worried you might get 
some just no, no, they are worried because the people people you see Nigerians now say hey what but Miss Grass stayed in female prison but I was in the female um in the female EF sequel study mm -hmm. mm, yes I was in the EF because there were four people in the room like guys four to five guys in the room and obviously this is a body with boobs this is a body with nice shape you know so they wouldn't they wouldn't want to put me among those guys chica is there any picture of you because you started posting picture as an angel picture as a mama and um, mommy yes um there's no picture of you on this no because you didn't wear it i don't know am i supposed to wear this you didn't wear this in prison am i supposed to wear this you didn't wear this in prison well, I don't know. Let me just keep that part. I don't know. That's because you are not in prison. You were in one VIP place. You did not. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. No. That one is people's business. You know, you people, Nigerians, you people know how to sit down and just say things that probably never happened or things that happened. You just want to add one, two, one or two together and start fabricating so many things. So I'm not going to be in that party to sit here and tell you, oh, I'm there. Oh, I'm the Jesus. Oh, I, I shall know that I was convicted and I, I want to serve. That is it. I hope you guys heard what they said here, especially what Bob Risky said that he was in a main prison. And this man here is saying the reason why they gave him an apartment is the truth is really gradually coming out. So we heard that they are still doing investigation and we are still waiting the outcome, my people. So that is it. I I bring this update to you guys. I hope you truly enjoy watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if today is your first time here. Share the video to your friends and family. And also give me a thumbs up so that YouTube will recommend this video to other people to watch. Thank you everyone for watching. I truly appreciate you all. Yes, I'm going to see you guys in my next one. Goodbye for now. Welcome to Chamas in your TV.